We still don't know the situation in rural areas. With communications down, many parts of Puerto Rico are cut off. So today, David Begno left San Juan and headed west. This is one of the hardest hit towns on the western tip of the island. On our way in, we passed a military convoy, one of the first signs that help was finally on the way. Maria tore into this island more than a week ago, leaving a trail of destruction. 1,500 homes no longer have roofs in Aguadilla. Here, the desperate waited for fuel for the eighth day in a row. The line stretched for miles. On the ground, many crowded at this grocery store. It only has food for another two weeks. Carlos Mendez is Aguadilla's mayor. Do you need more help? Of course I do. I need more help. I need FEMA. I need a coastal engineer. I need you that are listening to me. We need help. But we're going to get out of this one. I'm sure that we will. Fresh water was enough to make this young boy smile. Very happy. Faviola Perez brought two cartons. It will be her fill for the night. She's been waiting for days. We have to keep hope alive. It's a mistake not to get up again. When you go down, you have to get up. And that's exactly what we're doing. They have stopped serving water tonight. The curfew is about to go into effect and people are not supposed to be out on the street. But the people will be back tomorrow and so will the water tank operators. They've got four of these in town. Four for 60,000 people. Anthony. David Begno with one of the first looks at the situation in the western part of Puerto Rico.